hello everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well so yes today's Father's Day and I'm going to be cooking for my husband since it's Father's Day he gets a break from the kitchen normally you know Dan he does all the cooking but today I will be doing a bit of cooking for him and I'm actually going to be cooking jerk chicken season it from last night so I'm not going to be able to show you that on camera, but the season that we use is just some regular Jamaican meat seasoning. It can be some all purpose. I, I actually don't really use any other season other than Jamaican season. So also what we add to it, instead of blending up all my seasoning, I kind of use the walker jerk seasoning it's pretty good i've been using it for some years now instead of blending up my own season which is kind of easier for me so um so it's nothing much this is what it looks like and it's been sitting there from overnight now for me i like to cook my jerk chicken in this pot I don't really use anything else other than this except for holidays I kind of use um, that aluminum pan those huge ones but for everyday this is what I use and Don hates it <laughs> but I use this pot because as you can see I kind of you know darken up Don pots a bit um, he said I don't really know the use of pots but anyway that's just me I'm a rookie so I really don't care I just cooking them and thankfully they're good pots very good pot so I'm going to be you know putting some olive oil in the pot for me so it doesn't stick I was going to cook down something different but he loves jerk chicken so I'm just going to give him what he wants so I'm going to use a piece of the breast to kind of swirl that around so the oil can spread all over. I'm just going to be putting in all my chicken. And these are so well seasoned. I wanted to show you, but you know, I didn't get to do that. Don did it, so I don't take a video for that. Okay, so I'm going to take you a bit closer and let you see it. So this is it. I'm going to put it in the oven now. I normally, you know, put it on about, start it on about 350 and like within 20 minutes or half an hour, I'll just put it a bit higher, like to about 380 or 400, you know, so I don't know what to tell you how, you know, what degree to cook a chicken. I just do it, you know, that way and it works well for me. So I'm going to put that in the oven. And normally for me, jerk chicken, it cooks about mm, a hour and a half for me. That's how long I took it. So now I'm going to be going ahead and start the peas. So now for the peas, I'm going to be using this peas. And it's just a small red peas. And I'm going to use about half bag for my rice and peas. You know, normally I'll pick out to see if there is any bad peas before I even start washing it. But there's not much in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and wash it. And normally for me, I wash my peas about three to four times because I don't know. I just want to make sure they're washed properly. So I'm using about three pegs of garlic and I like to use fresh garlics. I really don't like using um, those, you know, 
butter ones, the processed ones. I like to use fresh garlic. I'm going to cut it up a bit. I mean, you can use the red kidney beans if you want. Not beans, but peas. We call it peas. So you can use the red kidney peas or these small ones. So I'm going to get the peas on. And for me, normally, I have it to cook. I, you know what? I just cook the peas until it's tender, so I don't have any time on it. But I watch it every now and then so I can keep adding water because, you know, the water do dry it out. So you have to give an eye and I'm going to let the peas cook for a bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to be getting my juice made. Enough for the juice. So I'm going to be making some mango. I'm going to use cucumber and ginger. So it's going to be mango, cucumber and ginger juice. And for me, I like to make my juice fresh, healthy juice. Um, I don't really stuck out and like, you know, all, the, all those artificial juice. It's best to just make juice fresh. You know, I think Dan couldn't find any mango that was riper, so I have to work with these. These are not ripe. I'm going to use a spoon to kind of scoop it out a bit. You see it looks green, even though I like for my mango to be very ripe. You know, not overripe, but ripe. These are not that ripe that I wanted it to be. I'm going to be adding my cucumber. So I cut them up, I think it was probably four days ago, and I have them frozen. So I'm going to add some of it to my blender. My gosh, they're so big. That it won't break blender, right? Well, you cut it in half. They cut up. I'm going to add some water to it. Can't forget about your ginger, so I'm going to peel this ginger. I like putting ginger in my mango juice. You should try it, it tastes so good. If you haven't done it before, you should try adding some ginger to your mango juice and cucumber. It is so, so good. I was going to use carrot, but I kind of, you know, I don't want to do all of that. I don't want to go through, you know, scraping those carrots, so I'll just stick with the easier part. Okay. Please have a paper towel. Okay. okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend this. adding some lime so I'm going to wash these and squeeze it okay, so that's it for the juice and you see this is not the color I'm looking for Whenever I make mango juice, it's normally this yellow color when the mangoes are ripe, but because it's not that ripe, look at it, it's more green. Even though, you know, I'll put cucumber in it, it still turn out well um, before, but because these mangoes, they're 
kind of turn they're not right so they're turn so it kind of you know it doesn't give me that nice color that I'm looking for but anyway this shall work so I'm going to get this all sweetened and I'll come back and start working on my vegetables Okay, so now I do have some cabbage that I cut off because I'm going to, to be making some, you know, coleslaw and we call it shred vegetable in Jamaica. So I'm just going to move that and I don't need this. I wash these carrots and I'm going to be peeling them before I start shredding them. And I use a whole cabbage. Well, I just wanted to say Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I'm going to rinse these carrots some more since I, peel, I like to wash my vegetables a lot. And I'm going to rinse the board off. So I'm going to cut these in half to make it a bit easier for me. So now I'm going to start shredding and I'm using this grater. And I'm going to be using this side here. I'm going to have my daughter to shred it and, and I'm going to leave her to do that while I go get the things for the cake to prepare because I'm baking a cake today and I hope I, I hope I do it well, I'm not sure. I'm going to attempt to make a black forest cake. Um, if I do need help then I'll ask Don for help but I'm just going to leave Danielle here. Hi. <laughs> yes, hi. So she can get on with the carrots and I'm going to get other things prepared. So now that it's done, the carrots, I think this is enough to add all my carrots to the cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and what I'm adding to it, it's just some mayonnaise and sugar. So I'm going to go ahead, I can't tell you how much sugar I'm using because I just pour the amount, you know, for taste. So you just pour the amount that you want. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not really a lot. I'm going to add some mayonnaise to it. You can add the amount that you want. I can't tell you how much to add, but I'm just adding the amount that I want. What I do is I stir that, stir it all in. Kind of need a bigger pan. Normally I use a bigger pan. I think I need something a bit bigger. I'm just going to switch it out because I don't think I have enough space to stir it with this one. You don't have to add mayonnaise. You don't have to add that amount of sugar. I mean, you know, for the coleslaw in Jamaica, sometimes we just use like um, a bit of sugar and some vinegar. But I kind of not like it with the vinegar. I just use just the mayonnaise and the sugar. I mean, some people use it, but a lot of people use the vinegar and the sugar. My arm, my arm is tired. It's so good today, cooking for Dan. I, I do feel good. I wanted to make it special. You know, I was going to do something else, but Dan loves jerk chicken. And we haven't had um, any rice and peas in a long time. Normally, you know, rice and peas is a tradition thing for Jamaica. We have to cook rice and peas with some type of meat every Sunday. It's a good Sunday dinner, and we have our vegetable and all of that. But you know, we haven't had rice and peas in like a month. So it's been a long time, a 
a very long time. I'm going to use this tomato. I normally like to cut up tomato in my into my coleslaw and it's properly washed. So look here, whenever I'm cooking, and if you don't see I go to the pipe, everything is washed already. So I'm just going to cut it up a bit. Not too small, so about this size. Normally I also use some sweet pepper, like the green one, but I don't have any today. I actually forgot to purchase some, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to mix that in. I'm going to transfer it back into this bowl, where I can take from it, and it's easy because this is too big to put in the refrigerator. My rice and peas, I'm going to be using this coconut milk. You can get whichever brand you prefer. I'm just going to be using this Caribbean um, Rhythm coconut milk. I'm going to shake that well. So I'm going to add all of it. Let this coconut milk cook a bit in it. I'm going to get my scallion ready because I'm going to be using about two stalks of scallion for my rice and peas. I don't need that much. And I'm going to be adding um, some scotch bonnet pepper, not a whole lot. I'm going to add a bit of sugar and I already have the garlic. Thyme, I'm going to be adding some thyme as well. I'm going to add my scallion. I kind of like smash it a bit. I kind of rinse it for me. You can smash it with something or just rinse it. And I'm going to add some thyme because I wash the scallion and I peel the outer layer off. And I'm going to add some thyme to it as well. Add a bit of black pepper. And I'm going to stir that in. This looks so good. I'm going to show you. I think I might use two coconut milk because normally I use two just to give it that flavor because I don't think one can is enough. You have to add a bit of sugar as well. So for this little teaspoon, I'm going to be adding about three or even four. So I'm just using about four teaspoon of sugar. I'm just going to mix that all in and I'm not going to be adding the rice as yet because I want this milk to cook out a bit. I'm going to give it about mm, 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back and add the rice to it. I'm going to be adding this green pepper very soon. I don't want to put it in now when I put the rice in. I think I'll put it in just before I add the rice. I'm going to wait a bit. To add about a half a stick of butter to it. This is quite easy to make. It's not hard. Jamaican rice and peas is very easy. So my rice is all ready. And this is about, I think this is about two pounds of rice. So I'm just going to add that. I'm using parboiled rice. It's kind of hard for me to handle the white rice. I use parboiled rice. It's not brown rice, but you know, I used to think it was brown rice because I didn't cook that much, but this is parboiled rice and I'm going to be adding, why, why am I twisting up my words? So I'm going to add that. And I'm just going to stir it a bit. This rice is much easier for me to handle than the white rice because sometimes I do spoil it. <laughs> when I'm making rice and peas. So one day Dan, you know, he told me about the parboiled rice and he said, Tiffany, you could use that, you know, if you're not good at making rice and peas. And for that reason, you can handle it a bit better. It's not like I'm not good at making rice and peas. It's just using white rice. I never can measure the water enough. I know, you know, people said, okay, use two cups of this to whatever cups of rice but it still never work out for me it still never work out for me so i just stick with parboiled rice it tastes very good very good and so you know because i don't like brown rice if you're that healthy eater i do eat healthy with other things i'll eat brown bread and all of that but not parboiled but not brown rice 
So I'm just going to leave this, I'm going to cover it and just let it cook. To make my, I'm going to make a sauce. So I'm adding a bit of olive oil. I'm going to be using scallion, onions, um, some garlic, and also ginger. So I do have some of the, the sauce of the chicken because when I cook the chicken, I pour a bit of the sauce off, just a small amount, so I can use it um, to make the sauce that I'm making. I'm not sure to tell you what sauce it is. It's just some type of gravy. I should say gravy instead of sauce. So it's just some type of gravy I'm making. I love when the ginger is in it. Okay, that's a bit. I know I'm going to be adding this sauce to it. Sauce, I like to add ketchup. I tell you, you should try it. It tastes so good. I'm going to add a bit of water. I'm so messy. Please don't mind the stove. I cook like that all the time. I'm quite messy when I'm cooking on the stove because everything gets flatter. Dan will take care of that when it's all done. Add in a bit of black pepper. Oh, what brings out the flavor in this? Sugar. I have to add sugar to it. And this is some type of Jamaican sauce that I've learned how to make. You know, you're not trying to sweeten it like a juice. So, you know, you don't want to put too much. You can add about two teaspoons are about two and a half it just depending on the amount of sauce you're making and this looks so good my rice and peas it's on low so i'm going to go ahead and turn that off it's looking absolutely beautiful i'm going to stir my rice and peas up a bit oh my gosh this looks so so good Give you a close up so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the rice and peas. Isn't that looking lovely? It looks so, so good. So it's all done. And this is my sauce I'm making to go with the jerk chicken. And I just put that on the side, you know, on the rice. Not going to pour it on the chicken, you don't do that. And guys, take a look at my jerk chicken. That's the jerk chicken. Oh my goodness. This is my oven style jerk chicken. It's looking so, so good. Yeah, look at that. So normally on Sunday, I kind of let everyone serve themselves, mostly Sunday. So I'm going to be using these dish, these serving bowls, and this one, you know, one for the rice and peas and one for the jerk chicken. So this is it everyone so everything is plated and on the table so this is the Jamaican rice and peas and this is the jerk chicken looking real good and this is our coleslaw okay everyone so that's it for today I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video and don't forget to walk in love stay in love and stay connected to God and you do have a lovely day and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there thank you I'll see you in my next video bye bye